Salut à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Geek World, je suis Scar et aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour un nouvel épisode de The World of Among Us. Bon, vous connaissez la rengaine, on enchaîne tout de suite avec la suite de nos aventures de notre cher Big B. Alors la semaine dernière on, fait, on avait fini le chapitre 2 en découvrant que Crane était derrière la mort de Lily et que euh, il était euh, beaucoup plus impliqué dans toute l'histoire que ce qu'il laissait penser jusqu'alors. Du coup, sans plus attendre, nous allons tout de suite nous replonger dans l'histoire. Et nous y revoilà donc. Et on avait aussi pété la gueule à, à, à la bête je crois. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. The trip trap? Are you drinking? When? <laughs> right now. They were on their way out. <laughs> Tout le monde se ment, c'est un truc de ouf. Attends, tu fumes de la coke, toi Wait. Tu fumes de la coke, oui, je viens de dire ça, oui. Parce que la coke, ça se fume. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. When you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Ces trucs de fille. C'est incroyable, ça. Bon, je sais qu'il y a tout le truc de secret et tout, mais quand même, quoi. Enfin, tu donnes pas des demi-vérités comme ça, s'il te plaît. Fais attention, il y a des choses qu'elle qu aime pas dire. Comme quoi Des choses qu'elle aime pas. Ah C'est voir de la pluie, ça me donne envie de déternuer. <rire> non, mais c'est pas vrai ça. Excusez-moi. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. Pas interrompre. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me: your memories of her. I'll miss worrying about you. How she can be stubborn and patient. I'll miss you. Rash and thoughtful. Holly. How she carried a torch for the old ways, bon. for tradition, for um, now you will never die from indifference and most of all, or lead a tedious so life. Lily Goodbye, loved, sweetheart. Dearly Thanks loved for everything. Her friends and family. Vivian. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily. You were a big, bright, shining told, star in this in shithole of a town. That she would have liked I to miss you already. And Grand. now we'll have our uh, and another bridge. moment of silence. Thank you. A moment of silence. Et c'est là que tu vas essayer de parler à lui. Your Highness. Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I, uh, I didn't see you there. Did you know the deceased, Lily? Oh, um, no, not really. I just came because it, I don't know, felt like a thing I should do, I guess. 
I was angry at first when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evened it out. In the end. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? Bigby, you is got it, Nate. everything okay? No, not you. Est-ce que j'ai encore fait? He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. Mais qu'est-ce que j'ai encore no fait? To be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Oui. This one isn't on him. Bordel de merde. J'en ai marre. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, oui. Holly. This is serious. Je suis désolé, j'en ai rien à foutre de ta sœur. Je suis un monstre. Bla 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 bla. En attendant, c'est moi qui me tape le boulot de l'enquête. Vous allez tous fermer vos gueules et vous allez me laisser faire mon putain de boulot. Oh mon dieu. Et je vais reposer 30 secondes. Excusez-moi, mais là, ce genre de personne, j'en en, je n'en peux plus. C'est véritablement ce genre de personne. Non, vous ne savez pas ce que je ressens. Il n'y a que moi qui ressens ça. Les autres aussi, ils vivent des choses difficiles. Ils en font chance. Juste pas la publicité. Hein. C'est pas parce que euh, t'as perdu quelqu'un que personne dans le monde ne sait ce que tu vis. Alors, tu vas fermer ta gueule et tu vas retourner t'asseoir et tu vas retourner faire le deuil de ta sœur. Hein, et là, tu seras gentil. Merci. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. <sighs> it's been hard enough making a connection. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong... Ok, 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 je vais te montrer la preuve, c'est bon, j'ai compris. Tu l'as cherché là par contre, hein. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? 
Non. Two minutes. I don't mean to be. Um, no, I understand. Take no, your time. Take your time. Après tout, c'est déjà barré depuis longtemps. Excusez-moi, je suis salé là. <rire> How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah, Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa. Yeah. Um. Coming. Hmm. Constable. Did guess wait, good. wait, wait! Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, then we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. <laughs> Just pay attention. <laughs> Malgré tout, j'aime beaucoup les tweeters quand même. Deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours. Brother, Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your what deal. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Oh, t'as pas dit que ça devait être secret? What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, putain, il a fallu qu'il dise ça. Et puis mieux se passer. Ah, elle est morte. Je sais pas. Il... Il... Ok. Bon, oh, bah super moyen de commencer la journée, les points. Oui, alors. Euh... Donc comme je disais, hein, je ne supporte pas les gens qui sont en mode « tu ne comprends pas ma souffrance », etc, etc. Et qui ne cherchent même pas à savoir qu'est-ce que les autres ont pu vivre avant de sortir ces bords de conneries. Enfin. Bon. Donc les Tweedles veulent protéger Craig Je suis pas sûr qu'ils veulent protéger Craig, j'ai plus l'impression qu'ils veulent le chasser eux-mêmes et qu'ils veulent être sûrs qu'ils ne se pas en premier en fait. Épisode 3, The Crooked Mile. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but 
Until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Nah. <laughs> what could fucking happen? <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Hmm. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Not gonna fucking happen. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Doctor. <laughs> Sacré muscle. Hein? So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. He smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Bupkin was drinking in the rafters. <laughs> that about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What Boom. the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. No, I don't know. Spa, spa. If, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? No. What I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it. It doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Is it a normal anime? Thing eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Hmm. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just. When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. But qui t'a dit ça, sérieux? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. Tiens, à ton tour de toi. Voilà. Prends-toi ça dans la gueule. Rien à foutre. T'excuses même pas. Uh, guys, we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. <sighs> I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. 
He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Boom. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. On part pas Buffkin, ni Ted. Oh là là. Bon, on va on va parler à Buffkin un peu pour. Buffkin, je l'aime bien. Il a été moins chiant que Snow. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh yeah. Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glands from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm? <laughs> Why didn't you stop him? Je pense que la question se pose même pas. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Et dernière, et ça c'est vrai. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? You, you mean it? Yeah. Oh. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Je l'aime bien, Buffkin. Il est mignon. Il est un peu con, mais c'est Buffkin. Buffkin, on l'aime bien plus. about Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested as I explained my last letter? The condition is here, I could do with some improvements. Seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment, I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best Wayne Smith. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means but I assume it's some, something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. Wow! At the very last provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boyle. Putain, il peut aller vers vraiment rien, quoi. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the pla plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to, men not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Donc non. What is it? It's the key to his room at the Open Arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Eh. Uh. I want to know. Okay. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy. Him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? So I could pas savoir. No, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. C'est fermé. Mais moi j'en ai rien à foutre. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? 
Bufkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Bufkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with the witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be. And that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more. Barbe Bleu, c'est vraiment un enculé du dernier. Well, you did and I know. The cat's out of the bag. Oui. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. Et pourquoi tout le monde lui dit tout? A.M. or P.M. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Mais Why do you really toi? care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested, since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. Tonight I hear that Crane has been killing fables, and there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Ah, <sighs> les investisseurs. Les... All right, let's just oh, look oh. on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black oui. market Oui, revenons sur les choses Thanks importantes. S'il vous plaît. That he'll be there at 2. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Très simple. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was, and I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway. No, so... chances are you won't have time. <sighs> I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Ouais, tu restes là, toi, really? Mais now. And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? Ça, ça, ça c'est vraiment l'obstruction de justice, par contre. Since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. 
I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bitsy? Ah, c'est l'heure du choix. C'est l'heure du choix, et en plus, on a un timer. Où allons-nous aller So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need sharing. Ah. <laughs> Ah j'ai envie de... Ah j'ai très 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 envie de simplement... Euh... Ah j'ai envie de faire un cliffhanger ici. Ah écoutez. On va arrêter l'épisode ici. Voilà, pile sur ce cliffhanger de ouf. Où allons-nous aller Les Tweedles, Holly ou Crane je vais vous laisser le, 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 la possibilité de me dire dans les commentaires où est-ce que vous, vous aimeriez que moi j'aille en premier, tout en sachant que voici ma ligne de pensée. Si je vais chez Crane, j'ai une forte chance de trouver l'adresse, je pense, parce que Crane doit avoir l'adresse quelque part chez lui, il pose potentiellement d'autres indices, ça doit être très important. Les Tweedles, je ne pense pas qu'ils aient l'adresse. Ils ont peut-être d'autres informations importantes, mais je pense pas qu'ils aient l'adresse. Et Holly, en effet, enfin, euh, le, là où Holly est, doit y avoir des informations avec les affaires de Lily. Mais donc, moi, mon choix se ferait plus entre Crane et Lily en premier. En sachant que je vais probablement faire les trois, hein, mais c'est juste dans quel ordre je le fais. Du coup... On va s'arrêter là pour aujourd'hui, c'est un épisode quand même vachement court par rapport à ce qu'on a l'habitude de faire, mais en même temps, c'est pas plus mal. Voilà, donc je vous dis, n'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous souhaitez que je fasse dans les commentaires. N'oubliez pas de liker, partager, commenter la vidéo. Et à la semaine prochaine pour voir où est-ce qu'on va. Ciao